Uh, so I saw this yesterday regarding yes. Deion Sanders. Yes. Uh, we, every every day there's this is something. There's something about Prime out there, and this one was that. This is not about media for Prime or anything nope. weird nope. about. Nope. This this is something actually that happened at practice. So Deion Sanders on Tuesday uh, upgraded some of his players, but not for fighting, but for not fighting. For Zip, not fighting. A, a brief fracas, fracas followed Anthony Hankerson's touchdown run up the middle in a goal line drill when safety Jaden Milliner Jones grabbed the running back by his jersey and tossed him to the ground well after he scored. This is, by the way, uh, via ESPN. Massive offensive tackle Jared Christian Lichtenhan, who packed 310 pounds into a six foot ten frame, didn't appreciate the late addition and let Milliner Jones know it. A lot of pushing and shoving and hollering ensued as several teammates joined in, although many seem to be simply trying to keep the peace. Um, it says also some assistants ran in the fray and separated the players in the middle of the fight. But Coach Prime stepped in, not to the fight, Sip. He saw guys wa- walking off the field. He says, quote, I see two you guys walking off over there, and you've got a key teammate fighting. Where do they do that at? Where do they do that at? He says, if one fights, we all fight. It Deion was, says, we all fight yeah. if somebody's going to fight. You can find video of this. In fact, I think in this, yeah, in this article that you're reading from on ESPN, there's a, you can, you can go to a link there and see what happened. It was interesting. It was, now, first of all, getting away from the fight just for a second. I mean, if you watch the, the video, you get kind of charged up for the season. I mean, they're going hard. Hankerson, you, you know, it was a it was a touchdown run up the middle, and you could hear somebody in the background say, "We need this, Hank. We need this, Hank." Hankerson got in, and he, you know, it was it wasn't the safeties grabbing him and tossing him to the ground was really not that bad. But then that yeah, that big sixty nine that's a that is a massive offensive tackle. He's number sixty nine um, hyphen name. Jared Christian Lichtenhan. Yeah, he jumped in quick and and basically shoved that safety to the goalpost. And there, yeah, there's some guys that jumped in. There was a there was a small fracas, but it was fascinating to see Prime gather those guys and get into them. I mean, he wasn't talking to them; he was yelling at them. That I, he said, "I see, so I see some of you guys walking off." He said, if there's a if there's a key guy, Hankerson, obviously is a key guy on the team. If there's a key guy that's in a fight, you gotta what are you doing? To walk away. It's to interesting. Join the fight. Yeah, no, some people are gonna, I don't know, are, are some people gonna I don't know. Are some people gonna say, wait a second, you can't encourage these guys to fight. Deion Sanders did. It's football. He says again, Deion Sanders says, if one fights, we all fight. You understand that? I don't want to see you all walking off when somebody's fighting ever again is that okay with people i i'd be curious bill's not here i'd be curious what bill would think about right this. If, if if you see a fight especially as you're trying to build history some camaraderie mm-hmm. and fall camp and some toughness do you embrace it or do you break it up and you say everybody's in if there's fighting if one fights we all fight that's what he said as, as you said now here the athletic arena it's different than normal society Fights are okay in hockey. They're inc- celebrate them. They're encouraged. We celebrate. I saw. I don't know why I was watching. There was a. There was a. They they replay. Have you noticed this time of year that everything's a replay? They're replaying a hockey game yesterday. Carolina and somebody else and two guys fought. We'll just wait for line. Two guys really again. fought. I mean, they really got into it. And I was thinking about it. Like, yeah. I mean, if that was happening on O Street, those guys would get arrested. But in hockey, it's right out there in front of everybody, and they're cheered. You know, it was, it was, it was, those guys were going at it. And, and here's Prime saying, you go. If, if you see a guy, if you see a guy that's in danger, you got to, you got to help him. So they don't walk off. Now, here's the thing with the couple things with Sanders. He's flashy. We've said this before, but it, it, this is a great example of what we've said. He's flashy, but he's an old school football coach. Sanders is an old school football coach. That's what scares me about this whole game in Colorado on what is it, September what? Ninth. Ninth. That they'll be a tough team. Tougher. 
Yeah, now that won't be hard. To, it won't be hard to be tougher than one eleven than a team that was one and eleven. But they'll be a tough team. They, you know, I don't know how good they'll be, but I bet they they'll compete. <laughs> it's a little scary. They got a good quarterback. Should do her Sanders. Yeah, I mean he's he was legit. Now he's he was at Jackson State, and he completed seventy percent of his passes. Jake forty touchdowns, six picks. It's a different level level here. It's going up a level. Jackson State is not Nebraska. No. I did talk to a Colorado rider recently, Brian Howell of the Boulder Daily Camera. And here's what he says about Shadur Sanders. This is what Brian Howell of the Boulder Daily Camera says about Shadur Sanders. I think he's really good. They had Steven Montez a few years ago when Colorado beat Nebraska in back-to-back years. That was 2018 and 2019. He was a pretty good quarterback, an NFL borderline type of guy. I would say Shadur is at least as good as Mon- as Montez, hmm. and he has the potential to be as good as Colorado's had in the last 20 to 25 years. Well, we saw Montez up front, up close to personal twice in 18 and 19. They, Col- yes. And he was he was good. He was, he was, right. was not great. He was, he was right. a good quarterback. Yeah, he was good. He, he, he commanded the field well i thought and it had a good arm big kid um they also look good at wide receiver and edge rusher that's that's where their strengths are uh wide receiver and and edge rusher they had they they have two guys who transferred from south florida who are the top two receivers at south florida that's the good news for colorado the bad news is south florida was one and (laughs) eleven Same as them. There's obviously a Travis lot of us Hunter, which says a lot of buzz. That, a lot of entry with buzz him. there. Five star recruit. Um, w- this is what Brian Howell says of Travis Hunter. By the way, he'll play both corner and receiver. Two way, just like Dion. Brian Howell says this of Travis Hunter. From what I saw in the spring, he's probably the best pure receiver I've seen at Colorado since Paul Richardson. Do you remember Paul Richardson? You're an NFL guy. Second round pick in 2014. I don't remember. I don't that remember name. that name. No, Paul Richardson, second round pick in 2014. Um, but you know, this is a team. We again, this has all been talked about a lot, but they have 50 at least 50 guys that started practice August one or thereabouts that that are going that went through their initial. Practice. Practice at Colorado, 50 scholarship guys out of 85 that went through their initial practice. I just don't know how you do that. Like, how do you get them ready just for the to, season? Yeah, it's tough for me to expect them to be a cohesive group by game two. Now, I could be wrong. Now, right. by game seven or eight, that sure, they might be different. have it figured out. But yeah. uh, that's why if you're in Nebraska, you're happy to get them game two. And it's not middle of the season where they get have more time figured out, more things figured out. You know, I'm kind of a snowflake, right? Yeah. So, so there's things of that I read that I'm all, I'm always amazed by. I was amazed by this when Brian said it, Brian Howell, the Boulder Daily Camera. He said, I think the, I, again, snowflake. He said, I think the atmosphere is going to be absolutely insane at Folsom Field for Nebraska. I think Colorado will feed off that. I'll tell you, the spring game was crazy here and it was a spring game. And this fan base, you have to understand, absolutely hates Nebraska. I was like, whoa, <laughs> really? Still hate? I would say this. I, I drove my car out there last time, and I had no damage to it. No no slash tires, no keys. This it isn't had- Libya. I mean, you, sh- you shouldn't expect that your, your car is going to be damaged. Well, they, everyone, tell, everyone, everyone tells you if you go to Boulder, watch out. You're going to get some damage to your car. You're going to think it's going to be thrown at you. And I parked in a... Uh, a college neighborhood, no damage that I know of, at least. 